When you think of wind energy, you think of fields of those giant wind turbines out on a lake or on a wide open plain. But the newest shape of wind energy is being pioneered right here in Northeast Ohio. And as Dick Russ tells us, it should soon spread around the world. At first glance, you don't quite know what to make of it, but get used to the sight of these wind cubes popping up on the tops of buildings everywhere. It's time for corporations, universities, large power users to take control of their own destiny and curb and, and hedge against electric increases. And the first company to do that is Crown Battery in Port Clinton. The wind cube just installed on their roof will charge the batteries the factory makes, and it's just a first step. We thought we would start to look at the renewable energy sector, and certainly wind and solar became part of that. Uh, because we think long term it will help us control our costs to keep us competitive long term. The wind cube idea began in Akron. All the parts come from Ohio companies. Many of those businesses were on hand for the big ribbon cutting ceremony in Port Clinton on Monday. Two of the features of the wind cube that are projected to make it commercially successful is that it can fit into a tight urban environment and it can operate at wind speeds as little as five miles per hour. That's because of its design. The compact 22-foot cube acts like a tunnel and doubles the speed of the wind blowing into the blades. The five mile per hour wind will get it going and wind uh, often will drop in its speed. And this way the, the turbine won't stop. At five miles an hour, it'll still be turning, come right back up again. The wind cube, prospects of affordable energy and real green jobs for Ohio. In Port Clinton, Dick Russ, Channel 3 News. Wind cube installations are planned for a number of high-rises high around Cleveland. The first will be on the Lausche State Office Building downtown. Buildings needing more power can actually stack the wind cubes on top of each other.